Hi there, I'm Christina from HairRomance.com and this is day 25 of my Good Hair Q&A series where I'm answering your hair questions. And today's question is all about a product that's a little bit misunderstood, hairspray. I think I had some nightmares from hairspray as a child when I used to do ballet and my hair would be glued down to my head in a bun that wouldn't move. And I had a few questions around this about which are the ones to use, which won't make my hair feel like that and I've got all the answers here for you. Now, first up, when we look at hairspray, we want to split the product into two different categories. You've got lacquer and you've got flexible hairspray. Now, these two have different purposes, so I don't think one is better than the other, but they just have two very different purposes. The lacquer is exactly as it says, a high gloss finish, very, very stiff, very, very shiny, and it's the one that I remember from childhood. Very much the style that would glue your hair down, you couldn't restyle it, if you made a mistake, you'd almost have to wash it out and start again. But the reason this is great is if you want a style to stay and you've got your hair in a certain way and you need it to look that way for a really long time, particularly think of like uh, film sets, TV, uh, any kind of uh, vintage style hairstyles as well, the lacquer is where you want to go. But if you're a pretty much regular girl like me and you want an everyday hairstyle that you kind of make a mistake, you want to fix and restyle and you don't want to have to wash your hair after using hairspray, flexible hairspray is going to be your best friend. It's also the biggest trick I've got for when I've got frizzy hair that I want to try and tame down. Hairspray is a really good product if you use it the right way. And it's also good just for um, setting in curls and waves into your hair when you heat style, just to make sure that your hairstyle stays in place a little bit longer. Now in saying I don't like lacquers, there is one spray I want to give a big shout out to, and that's the Evo helmet. Uh, this is a white bottle, so you're probably not going to be able to see it on screen, but I'll pop it in the links below. Uh, Evo Helmet is a hairspray I first used years ago and it is more of a finishing lacquer but for me it doesn't have that permanence of like a really old school lacquer. Uh, it's extra strong, it works so well and it doesn't flake and that's something I really like. Sometimes some lacquers work so well they form like a, a coating on the hair that can almost go white if you brush it but you don't get that with Evo Helmet so that is a lacquer I will have in my beauty cabinet. Another hairspray that I always have in my beauty cabinet is the O&M Original Queenie. Uh, this hairspray is fantastic. It's firm hold, but it's still flexible, and it's just a really, really beautiful formula. Um, I haven't really found another one like it, so this one's a big fave of mine. Hairspray is a product that you can find really good value in, and Schwarzkopf have, and Taft have some amazing products that I can't find in my cabinet today. I might have actually lent them to somebody. And of course, the original L'Oreal L-Net. The Taft and the LNET products are fantastic. They've had the same formula for years. They're really, really inexpensive and a great way to try a hairspray and see how it works into your routine. And a new hairspray I've been trying lately is the Diva Curl uh, Flexible Hold Hairspray. Now, I thought this would be um, a root, like curly girl friendly. I don't really follow the curly girl, but I do try and feature products that are. The only thing that this one has in it is alcohol, which pretty much all hairsprays have in them. Uh, the reason that you try and avoid alcohols is they can be a little bit drying but this is a very simple finishing product, so it's not going to do any long-term drying damage to your hair. And it's more about if you're trying to hold a style, so if you are curly girl, um, if you are following the curly girl method and you want to try a hairspray, I'd give this one a go. Now I've cut off hairsprays, let's get down to how to use them. It should be pretty simple, right? They're a spray bottle, you just spray it right onto your hair, but you'll only get one type of result that way and it's not always your favorite. Spraying the product like this, you can concentrate it too much in one area, you can get a thick layer, and that's when you can kind of get those stiff styles that don't really feel that great. Instead, I'm gonna show you a few of my tricks to get hairspray to work even better. Tip number one is to use your hand. I actually spray it on my hand, and then I use that to sort of smooth down and seal in the style. Doing it this way means I only get the smallest amount of product on my hair, I don't get any of that stiffness, and it just catches all those little hairs. Now talking of those super fine hairs, there's a better way to get them than just your hand, and that's using a makeup brush. Same reason, you spray the product onto the makeup brush, a clean one of course, and then you can just use that to sort of gently brush down and catch any of those fine hairs that we can all see, kind of like that little halo. Um, a makeup brush will work really well for that. And then to take it one step further, particularly for these baby hairs around your face, is a toothbrush. Of course, a clean toothbrush again, spray a little product, and you can use this just to tidy up around your hairline and also you can use it on your part as well to get any fine hairs that are um, coming out from your part line. My other favourite way of using hairspray is to spray it onto a brush. I'm not going to demonstrate this one today because my curls aren't really going to like it, but if I've ever used a curling wand or uh, straightening irons and I've waved or straightened my hair, the brush is the perfect technique to smooth down, 
get any of those flyaways and just really improve the overall finish of the hairstyle. Same thing, just spray some product onto your brush and then just smooth it through your hair. So that's how I use hairspray when I'm finishing a style, but I can also use it to set a style as I'm going. I'll link to a video where I show how I curl my hair and often I'll spray each bit of section of hair with a little bit of hairspray before I wrap it around the curling wand and a little light spray after. This really ha helps to set in that curl if I'm looking for a specific shape. I really hope these tips have helped you and that you'll look at your hairspray in a different light now. You might find a new way to add it into your routine, maybe even with a toothbrush. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I'll see you soon. Bye.